Hello YouTube, my name is Pixel Guy, and we are having a Pixel Perfect day today. In this episode, we are starting a new series on Grid Autosport. This will be a career series, and I hope you will like it. Now, some of you may remember that I already have a career series of I don't know how many episodes up on this channel, but it was recorded back in the day when Grid Autosport was something completely new on iOS. So it is probably two years old. Yeah, quite a lot of things happened since then. So I remember in that series, it was with the original horrible graphics in 30 FPS. And uh, yeah, not a lot of you were playing it back then because it was an iOS only game. And another reason for this is that I got quite a lot of requests to do so. Yeah, I hope you will enjoy it. I'm not sure if I will have commentary all the way in all the episodes because it's a little, little time consuming for me to record an audio, edit it as an extra, but we will see. Okay, but enough of that, let's start our career. Oh yeah, I remember this. So we will have a two laps race here in this Audi. Yeah, I haven't really played Grid Auto Sport for quite a long time. So it's a bit of a surprise for me how aggressive they are. They don't really care if you're there or not. They just turn into you, crash into you. So there's something that I definitely have to watch out for. Yeah, it definitely feels awesome to race in this game, but the AI is just really really aggressive i don't know what to do about it maybe i will turn them down a bit but we will see i i would say like just wait for one complete race weekend and after that we will reevaluate if we have to turn it down Let me just squeeze that in. There you go.
Okay, this race is over. Not not a good result, but who cares? It doesn't really count in anything. You just have to finish this race basically. If you're in the last place, nobody cares. Now, you're about to take the first steps in your motorsports career. Your goal? Take on each of the cross discipline grid championships, culminating in the Grid Legend series. Competitions that only the best can compete in and only a champion can win. But first, you'll have to race for increasingly more demanding and prestigious teams through the proving grounds of ever tougher championships spanning five single disciplines across touring, open wheel, endurance, tuna, and street racing. Welcome to the ultimate motorsports challenge. Welcome to Grid Autosport. Each season, you select one of five disciplines to compete in. Right now, the grid championships are locked, but making progress across the other disciplines will gain you entry to these prestigious championships. So, make your first choice. Touring is high contact pack racing, where the emphasis is on the ability to overtake with confidence. Competing in cars with closely matched specifications, teammates must work together to improve their standings over a championship. Race weekends are often split into multiple rounds at the same location, where grid order is reversed for the second round. These are your available championships. Committing to the longer season will mean more races, but will also earn you more XP for the chosen discipline. Here are your first two team offers. Once you have chosen, you are with them for the season. The team target is what you need to achieve to fulfill your contract and bring in better offers season after season. Hit the team bonus for even more XP and more lucrative team offers. Okay, so we have to choose a theme. Now, I would say I would go with Razer, as there's at least like minimal amount of settings on the car. This is something that you really have to check out, because uh, different themes basically give you a better ability to set up your car, and even some of them have upgrades. So here you can see if there is none, or minimal, or average, or like, I don't know. But it's called when you have all the settings. But that is something that is really, really important because setups in this game is huge, huge advantage if you know how to set up your car. Okay, let's set the standard right from this first race. He's got a lot of hype surrounding him. Take him on. There's, I don't think that there is a setup that is like the best overall. It's more of a, it has to fit your driving style. So I know that I really like soft front suspensions and uh, stiff rear suspensions. That's something that I can drive really quickly with, but that might not fit your driving style. Also, it depends on the car. Yeah, as you can see, um, there are settings for it, but you can only say like low or high or uh, soft or hard. That's that's not not a lot of options. Also, you only have one update on this car here that you can bring, but in um, highly configurable themes or highly like skilled themes, you have three. That's a big advantage as well. Okay, so um, I did a small amount of practice here just to get myself familiar with the track. Okay, so let's go for our first qualifying session. There's an extra championship point for qualifying in first place. Oh yeah guys, um, I will have a uh, racing line turned in, because um, some of these tracks are completely um, not something that I race on uh, day to day. Or something, some tracks are completely like new to me, so I think it's fine, um, just to learn the layout quicker. I remember back in the day when I did my first like initial career mode on this game, um, 
After some time, I didn't even do qualifying because it was it was weird. I, I don't remember why, but we will see. I think. That was a pretty good lap. Wait, what? Are you serious? Are you freaking serious that I lead by that margin? Okay, I think I found what the issue was last time. Yeah, I remember. Um, so, in qualifying, they are lots slower than in a race. Which is weird. <laughs> I mean, maybe they are doing the exact same lap times, but like normally you're a lot faster in qualifying without cars around you because in this game the biggest uh, slowdown is the AI cars like they slow you down so much in the race because they are driving inconsistently and bump into you, crash into you and always it's you who gets punished for any crashes like it doesn't matter if they crash into you or you crash into them their car is acting as it's a lot heavier, so you bounce off them. Yeah, so um, we won this session, which is <laughs> this is funny, <laughs> by quite a lot. Yeah, so I think the difficulty definitely needs tweaking. Maybe what I will do is, if I can, I will uh, bump up the difficulty for qualifying and uh, turn it down a bit for racing. I don't know. It would be so nice if you could like turn the aggression down or something, so they would like race normally, as you would expect. Okay, let's head out for our race. And off we go. Um, not a great start. Not a great start. Oh, that's just brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you, much appreciated. How? It's, it's this weird thing that they are doing, this drifting in the corner. Like, they don't properly break for the corner, they just Show, throw all the cars in. It doesn't matter like what car, they just throw it in 
And if you're in, in the corner, they just crush you out. It's so weird. Like, you have to always avoid them. That's, that's the biggest point of all these races, just to avoid the cars. Because otherwise you're so much faster than them. Um, yeah, this, same, this seems to be like quite a challenging race. <laughs> it's, it's crazy, I didn't change the difficulty settings at all between the qualifying and the race. It's the same. And here we are, like, struggling to get in first position, even though I started in first position. <laughs> it's crazy, man, crazy. Come on! It's really frustrating, really.
Okay, I, I will I will have to take over this guy. This lap, I have to do it. No matter what, I, I will go for it. Like, they cause so much drama to me that I don't care. Basically, if I uh, lightly crash into them. It's just bumper cars at this at this stage, at this moment. There we go. And look at that, they, they are instantly slower. <laughs> it's crazy. It, it feels so, so scripted, always, these races. Uh, like in the beginning they are faster especially if they are ahead of you but towards the end of the race they become slower which would be normal if we would have normal proper proper uh, tire management uh, tire degradation which you have in the game but not in this league so you have to go for endurance for that Rival and won the round. Keep it up. And yeah, it's finally over. That's great. First race is over. So it says I have another one, which is. Oh yeah, I remember. So, oh my god, we will have a, oh my god, this will be a catastrophe, basically. So it's a um, reverse grid race. So I will start from the last position. Holy moly, that will be crazy. Like, warning, meep, 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 a lot of, a lot of crashes ahead. <laughs> Jesus, we will see. Okay, let's go for the race. You're in position 16, and your teammate is fifth on the grid.
What are you doing, man? Like, why? So many questions. Okay, you, you can see like I'm clearly faster than them, but I can't overtake them because they, they are just drifting through these corners and taking up two times the space and oh no. Why do you do this? Stop it. Is that how you car? No, stop it. Yeah, I, I can like gain a few places, but this definitely won't be a win. Like, no way. They are crazy, man. They are crazy. Thank you very much. Brilliant. There is a position gained. Perfect. Yeah, I need this place. I need this place. Thank you very much.
Um, it could be fun, but the way they are driving, it's not really... You just can't find them. Like, no wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing allowed here because they will just crash into you. Um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm rambling too much on this, but... I think you can see. Like, yeah, so for the next uh, race weekend, I think this one was pretty okay for our first race weekend. We managed to win in the first one and gain quite a lot of places in this one. I think this was okay, uh, even though our teammate was complete <coughs> garbage. I mean, what the hell was he doing? I just don't understand. Like, this is always a thing. You signed a contract for X uh, position in the team's uh, championship, and you cannot guarantee anything because your teammate is just slow and I don't know what is he doing. You can, uh, by the way, I know that a lot of you don't know, you can comment your teammate to go faster or defend their position. But if you tell them to go faster or even attack, they sometimes make big mistakes that can cause them to like fall to the back of the pack, which is not something that you want. But it's a nice touch to this game that you can... <laughs> which is, by the way, really weird. Like, can you imagine like radioing to your team that, hey, um, guys, please tell my teammate to go faster. <laughs> That would be just so rude. Yes, oh, finally, it's over. Yeah, um, this was, this was quite a long race. I, uh, <laughs> I never felt a six lap race this long. Mm, yeah, guys, so this was the first episode. I, um, really hope that you liked it. Please, uh, down below in the comments, tell me what you think about this. If you want more episodes of it, or, um, if you want to, if you want me to change something. Okay, so I, I hope you like this, and um, um, this is something that will definitely go on for at least quite a few episodes, because uh, I pre-recorded a few of these. So I'm sure that I can say that bye, and see you in the next one. If you found this video interesting, then please give it a like. If you want to see more videos just like this one, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it, so you would never miss a new episode. YouTube thinks that you want to watch the video on the left and you can find my latest video on the right. Thank you for watching, see you in my next video, bye!